Hello, 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 hello. Say something. Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Do you ever... Go there. No. Do it. Nope. Has to do about lying, doesn't it? No! Just... Hey, welcome back to our show. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Corbin. <laughs> Woody's. No. You can follow Instagram, Twitter for more juicy conflicts. Whenever Pinocchio lies, he gets a Woody. <laughs> uh, today, we got... Uh, it's our last video of the day, Rick. Oh. Yeah, sorry. It's because it's the round table. Oh. Uh, so... <laughs> You know how they do these every year. Yes. So Film Companion uh, and it's yeah, uh, Film Companion film, Roundtable. This one is the filmmakers. So we got Kamal Hassan. Oh. We got the director of Vikram. You had me at Kamal Hassan. You got the director of Vikram in Lokesh uh, Kanga. Kanagara. We got SS Raja Muli. Oh. We got, uh, say this name. Swapna Dutt. Who was Sita Ram, producer. We got uh, Prithi Raj Sukumaran. Who this year was the producer of. Of uh, Jana Ganamana. Uh, we saw him in. Um, that Malayalam film that uh, we just watched. Oh, uh, he was the, uh, the, the drunk and the, the rich guy. Okay, uh, so that's him. And then we also got the this director. He's the director uh, right here. This name oh, bouncing about? all over the place. This right here. Uh, oh, Gotham Vasudev Menon. And he's he did this film right here. Vendu Tananandu Kadu. And uh, forgive mispronunciation. So yeah, uh, two great big heavy love weights. film companion. Uh, Vic uh, the uh, sorry. S.S. Rajamuli and Kamal Hassan. Good grief. Will be super fun to listen to, I feel like. Yep. Uh, this just dropped. And so let's just get into it. And this dropped uh, today. Awesome. So if you haven't seen it, go watch it on the original channel because some people like to watch yeah. it. Yeah. And if you don't want to hear us talking, like we'll make a couple points. Go watch the original video. It's up for you to do that. This is a reaction, and so we will stay stuff during the video. Exactly. If we talk through it, it's because... <laughs> it's not because we're not paying attention. It's not called our stupid watchings. It's called our stupid reactions. We react to what we see. Here we go. Everyone, so the first of our roundtables brings me to Chennai. I'm at the Taj Millington News, and so excited to have on our adda, Kamal Hassan, SS Rajamoli, Lokesh Kanakraj, Papnada, Prithvi Raj Sukumaran, and Gautam Menon. Now it'll be our time, for which all of us will have to humble ourselves. If we have to walk that far, then we have to walk together. Today, if I'm envious of anyone, I would say it is the Malayalam uh, writers and actors. Mm. I want to do for the Malayalam industry what Rajmoli said for the Telugu industry. The originality, the stories, the acting. We're not the only ones to notice. Wow. <laughs> That's my first response <laughs> on seeing all of you sitting here. It is such a pleasure and such a privilege to have all of you on Film Companion. Uh, thank you. Thank all the guys got the black shirt memo time. except him. Thank you, <laughs> you know, Jay, thank you for Thanks for dressing up. <laughs> given us this year, it has been so exhilarating for me as a viewer, as a critic. And I want to begin with um, one of my favorite quotes. Uh, which is from Theodore Roosevelt, and and you know he he, which ironically begins with the line, "It's not the critic who counts," uh, and he goes on to say that it is the man in the arena uh, who. He's actually he quoting Vince Lombardi. So whether he fails, uh, does so while daring greatly, and I think you are all examples of people who have dared greatly. You've taken risks that have happily paid off. Kamal Hassan's never uh, taken a risk in his life. A time which has been Always safe choices. For cinema, which has that been was a joke. Very, uh, <laughs> nerve wracking. You all have made films that have brought people back into the theaters. So thank you. Not Rajamouli. Who's gone to see uh, his films? I want to start with actually deep diving into that, into the art of the popular film. Uh, you know, right now, conventional wisdom is that Hindi cinema does not know how to do this right now. Um, that's why we're so disconnected. Brahmastra. That's why so few films are running. So um, I want to ask all of you, as the ambassador from Hindi cinema, uh, what is the first ingredient to making a popular film? Uh, how do you do it? 
without condescension? How do you do it without compromise? Uh, Kamal sir, you have done this for six Before decades. Before watching English films, huh? watch Indian cinema, Hindi cinema, Bengali cinema. That's that, your advice? That's my advice. Because when you say that Hindi cinema doesn't know, my greatest, some of my greatest inspirations have been from Hindi cinema. Some of those who I respect very much are from Hindi cinema. There's something called Uttarayan and Dakshinayan. The sun shines according to the way the commercial world moves. Right now it's shining here. We hope we can keep it that way. But you will be... Uh, uh, what do you call it? the, the uh, luminescence, uh, luminescence will turn the other side also. It's about, we have done, uh, we've had our, uh, not all, all of us, but at least I have had my flops and dark moments when nothing works, but then it starts working. But when you start working harder, it works. That That's what it is. I, I don't think there will be any secret formulas. Uh, uh, two things I would say is like, uh, basically having a connect with the audience and uh, not getting too comfortable. If you get too comfortable, you'll get too complacent. What does he uh, know about commercial uh, success? If your film is uh, doing doing good business at the at the moment of yeah, don't film, don't make assumptions. Then you get get to tend to get complacent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I think like what Kamusar was saying, like what happened was once the. Uh, uh, the corporates started coming into Hindi field and started uh, paying uh, high fees to uh, to actors, to directors, or companies. That need to I have to succeed at any cost has come down a little bit. The hunger. The hunger has come down a mm. little bit, and uh, uh, here that that uh, down south that uh, uh, that was not there. You have to. Uh, swim or you are going to sink. Uh, so, like he said, now it has shifted here. Now we shouldn't get complacent. Now we have we have good business at the announcement of films. Uh, so, if we start getting uh, getting complacent and the hunger goes down, then it's going to go the other way. But uh, at the uh, actually uh, to answer your question, to have the connect with the audience, to always have an understanding of what are they wanting, I think that is important. I wish we really knew if Kamal Sir and Rajma Research say they don't know, then that's... <laughs> 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 then nobody knows! So, looking at what's happening around, I think good, grandiose working, event films, obviously, right. uh, ensemble cast. Currently, and yeah. I'm going to speak about myself. I made a very experimental film, which, while going into the film itself, we clearly knew that there will be uh, some audience that won't come and watch this film because of the plot because of the content we put out as a gangster film. So I know straight away, like even at my in my house, they they would probably watch a film like that unless now it's on OTT and stuff like that. So I think uh, going by looking at what's happening, uh, and I really wish we can do more of these ensemble films that Lokesh pulled off. It's, uh, I thought it was tremendous of Sir to allow space for other big actors to come on board. So if the big actors actually, uh, I mean, I won't speak for Prithvi, he's, he's always done that, but Kamal sir allowing that to happen, I I am I'm using the word allowing because that was a huge, um, you know, decision, I thought. Um, and I'm not saying it's only because he, location, Kamal sir are here, because I thought, I, I think that kind of is a big example for all of us, I think. Sir pulled it off, I mean, he can do that. But here, I'm hoping other actors will sort of allow that to happen. Good scripts and audience will obviously come to the theaters to watch. Are the, the only two sirs in the room, yeah. SS and, and Kamal? I think, Kamal. I think so. He's out of respect, now has been constantly happening in Hindi cinema. Yeah. It's nothing new, and in Malayalam cinema, Mr. Lal and Mamuti have acted so many films. All the good actors will huddle together to make a good movie. That is the spirit we are trying to bring about in Tamil cinema. He has already done it there. And you see, the, that, that's not a formula, that's, that's a, a way of doing things. But uh, what he said is the most important thing, the connect with the audience. That's very important. When Shantaramji was making Kotnis Ki Amar Kahani and all those stories, he was directly man on the street. When he moved away, became the, a, a baron, film industry baron, he knew that his connect is going, so he went to uh, Navram Janak Janak Bhayalwaje. It's an 
it, it's another world he created. Being connected with the audience is important. I'm fortunate that I'm born in the internet era. Otherwise, I won't even know because there's nothing called the equilibrium for actors where the kings go masquerading to find out what's happening. There's nothing like that for actors. They only hear an applause and my producers and my friends will see to it that I don't hear any criticism. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes wish that still existed like that. <laughs> We live in that uh, era. But I'm saying, so how do we come to know about your films? We go to the theaters, watch it, and then pass the word around. You know that there is a film, and this is what he's done. So there was no reviews. We didn't. There was no photos. No, that's what he was saying. Yeah. He was celebrating Vikram because it's a generation who's shaking hands with you. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Tell me, how do you all? measure risk, uh, you know, for uh, Swatna, for you to produce Sita Rama, which is this swooning romance at a time when really no one's doing swooning romance, right? Or for you to create historical fiction about two beloved, you know, uh, freedom fighters, uh, Prithvi Raj, for you to produce and act in Janaganaman where, you know, you have this thundering climactic speech uh, where your character is saying, this is not anyone's father's private property, this is our country, or got them for you to, you know, sort of you said this yourself, unlearn 20 years of filmmaking and create the gangster She always movie. does her homework. Um, how do all of you measure how far to go on that limb and how long to stay there? Lokesh. Um, actually, I thought I'm here to listen to... <laughs> 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 I'm not here to talk. I, I feel the same way. I'd be just like, uh, I'd rather just listen to these guys. <laughs> not that, but um, to answer your previous question and as well as this question, everything starts with like the excitement and uh, how excited we are like as a creator. And it starts from the paper I write and uh, how I share that excitement with the team. And that comes next. And if that is done right, and I think we'll have that, like Sir said, the proper connect with the people. And... Um, and that excitement shares, I mean, on screen and it will be shared with the people. So, so you keep sharing excitement, yes, right? Yes, yes. right. Yeah, absolutely. About risk, um, there is no certain, I mean, a measurement to calculate risk now. I mean, and um, what we do is actually, uh, will this work or not? Uh, that is the right. final thing that we'll do. And, uh, and we'll share our scripts to other directors and fellow directors as well. And if that excitement still continues and everyone are kicked about the project, and I think the risk is little less that it might work well with the audience. And that is the, the thing I do here. That's how you test yes. it. Yes. So now what do you do? So, you know, probably I'm connected to your earlier question too. I mean, when you talk about a popular cinema, all these guys are making popular cinema. When we started off as, you know, in, in Sita Ramam, it was not a conventional popular cinema. It was... It was a rom-com set in the 60s, which is, could be an RT and, you know, in this particular stage, post-COVID and this whole OTT wave. And it, uh, for the market, it looks super risky. I mean, you know, there's, uh, there's nothing so right about this film. But then, I mean, when I heard the script, I remember falling in love and I remember crying. I remember having a tear down. I thought, I think I'm 80% of the audience. I like commercial cinema. But I also... Grew up watching, I mean, you know, in, 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 I, 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 raised, I, got, I, mean, I was raised in a small town called Vijayawada. So that's like the hub for commercial cinema. So back when I was young, I remember there was, not because I was here, but there was a Saga Sangamam and a Swati Mutyam. Those sort of films came in and kind of put a super speed breaker for commercial cinema and it did how, like, you know, so the sort that, the love for that sort of cinema has been there and then, you know, when you get a chance to make something like that, though it probably sounds risky on paper, I just thought we should grab it and, you know, stand by it and, you know, take it to the audience. Prithvi Raj, for you. So firstly, I have to reiterate what Kamal sir said, that since all of us are from the southern states, I get this question a lot about North Indian cinema not being able to crack the commercial cinema code. But there have been times not too long ago when we have sat around a table and thought, how are they doing it? <laughs> <laughs> how is Hindi cinema tracking this? How are they able to open up such huge overseas markets? 
and that's not too long ago. I'm not talking about medieval ages. Uh, so this, I truly believe, is a phase. There will be one big hit. Maybe it's Pathan. You know, uh, I've, 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 I know some of the newer films that are on floors right now. What those filmmakers are making. Some of them are really exciting. Uh, in Hindi, I mean, and uh, it could just be that one big film followed by another big film, and the whole narrative will change. So I do believe that that is that narrative is a, that perspective is a bit skewed as we speak today. And regarding your second question, uh, I believe risk is vital uh, because in my career, at least, all the films that have worked very, very well and gone on to become very big are films that have scared me a bit. Mm -hmm. Are films that at least. Somewhere in the process of making them. That's just a uniform at least once across the board for all creatives. This is going yep. to work. That you it's know? gotta scare uh, me. The ones yep. where you're sitting back and you feel safe about it. Yeah. You feel cocooned. Means there's risk, it means there's something different. The yeah. You, fall flat. Uh, you don't get do great success without the possibility of great failure. That you treat your audience with respect. Amen. Uh, yes. You have to tell yourself that it is them who you are making the film for. And that is where I believe the words you used, condescension and compromise, come into play. Because like Rajmauli sir said, uh, once complacency sets in, you know, once you start thinking you can lead them, you can make a film and hope that they will follow you, mm. uh, then you are into really uncharted territory. I know maverick filmmakers who have succeeded in that truth. But you always have to make sure you do not lose touch with the fact that you're conversing with the audience. Respect them. You know, respect their intellect. Exactly. Uh, and Assume the intelligence. My, you know, industry where some all-time great writers have always told me, like, like Lohi sir, M.T. sir, Srinayat, and all of them have told me that you need to be aware of the fact that you're conversing with equals. The moment somebody watching a film starts thinking, that from the screen there are characters talking down to you, you know, then I think mm -hmm. there is a disconnect. Yes. And that is very vital. So this, I think, is in a nutshell what you should try and aim to follow uh, while making mainstream cinema. You will fall, you will fail, you will take a wrong step, but that's how you learn. Speaking well of said. Spirit, in all your projects, okay, everyone here has made very ambitious things, uh, uh, very ambitious films, Films with sort of scale. Uh, what's the one thing in each of your movies that just terrified you? Uh, you know that kept you up at night. That uh, you know, uh, you know that that in Vikram, the sweat beneath the feet. Uh, that moment uh, for each of you. Please, let's start with you. What about Arara gave you sleepless nights? Uh, I mean, as a whole idea. No, Never. one, one thing, Never. like <coughs> something, one specific thing that gave you sleepless nights and how did you get over it? Now, one thing that we had sleepless nights was uh, the the animal sequence. Let's uh, say the CGI. The, uh, that is because we are shooting at night. We, we <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, that was good. I, I mean, like, that was funny. About Very this. literal. So, a risk is like, which whose perspective uh, are we talking about? You have an idea, you are excited about it, and you are working on it. I don't think any of us or any filmmaker in the world, once he is excited with an idea, will think that it is a risk. Because he thinks that is he likes it and people will like it, he is doing it. So, there is no risk there. It is what the others think and what, what are the others think about it. They might, or the market, as she was talking about, they might think it as a, a risk. And I think all of us are excited with the story. We get into it. As in the process of making it, all of us will have doubts. All of us will have doubts whether this will work or uh, is it working. Because filmmaking is a complex process involving so many people, so many minds. At some point of time, we are bound to have a doubt, uh, doubts on uh, whether this is the right thing or whether, whether this will work or not. But we will take comfort from the from the first excitement we had when we had the script and go forward. Yeah. So nothing kept you up at night? No. Except the night shooting. Except the night shooting. <laughs> the night shooting. No, you heard just the night shooting. Now you heard him. Uh, worries me, not scares me, because you don't get into this kind of business if you're scared. Right, yeah. 
it's a battle with commerce. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> a battle with light, actually. So what worries me, it is because I'm Mr. K. Balachandra's understudy, terribly worries me is slipping into mediocrity mm. because of logistics. That can happen to all of us anytime. So that is one thing that I'm sure that worries all of us. Slipping into mediocrity for making adjustments for uh, logistic accommodation, which is ultimately boils down to money. Nice. So that what a shock. is what worries me. That the artist, as he said, that's his biggest concern, you, that I'd make films what, for the money. Yep. What is the formula? Uh, they couldn't be, but like a way of life. Biggest fears being mediocre. Yeah. Passion and sort of the Gotta love that love answer. I love him. The first step towards making your dreams come true. Because you cannot look at the bottom line number and get worried and try to start mm. working your ideas around that. You get an idea, you either <laughs> take it or you don't. <laughs> Harry but Potter when you film. like it, then the bottom line will fall in place. Yeah. I'm going to give you a slightly different anecdotal answer, actually. Please. Um, I mean, these are all absolutely vital points. Right. Uh, so when I uh, directed my first film, which back then in 2018 was Malayalam Cinema's biggest uh, production, and uh, Mr. Mohan Lal took a giant risk, uh, thinking that I would be able to do something like that. And uh, we mounted your Lucifer. Yeah, we yeah. mounted this film called Lucifer, and uh, I have not narrated the. His film first film was Mohan Lal. Almost. As a director, close. producer, I think. Yeah. So one day, I finally met him, and I narrated the whole film, and I gave him like this three and a half hour narration, and he loved the whole thing. And he said, right, so how many days are we shooting? And I said, so I think, you know, maybe 85 days, 90 days. Okay, and any idea how many days you would want me? And I said, yes, about 30 days, 25, 30 days. And immediately there was silence in the room, which is when I realized, <laughs> that, Mr. <laughs> that Mr. Mohanlal is only there for a very little bit of the film. And, and he just figured that out. Yeah, and I'm wanting this giant production, which is a commercial Mohanlal mass entertainer. And that night, it kept me up thinking, so how? Then I started calculating, like, you know, so my film is going to be around three hours long. And I thought Mr. Mohanlal would be in the film for about 45 minutes. And I thought, Hang on, I mean, so I started going back and thinking, mm. has anyone else tried this, like the big commercial film with the hero only so little in the film? And that did keep me up for a couple of nights. <laughs> but uh, luckily it worked. <laughs> so, so now I can claim that it was all part of one brilliant <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when it goes from the page to <laughs> actual because filming. I think yeah. all those guns, all those, uh, so many no, actors. No, the whole film kept us all up. Yeah, <laughs> Shot, shoots only in the night. <laughs> 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 yeah. So almost like one in twenty days out of uh, hundred days were nights. Okay, hundred days were nights. Uh, uh, did he say a hundred out of one twenty were yes. nights? Uh, Yikes! All three is the same person. I mean, like he's my idol, my hero, and the producer of the film. <laughs> so I am the hand filmable in all moments. And uh, the biggest problem I had for the, before the first day of shoot is, uh, in my earlier films, what I do is to the main cast, I'll show Sir's reference videos, like with all the other characters we have played, saying that I want kind of this character. Right I was thinking, what I'm going to show this to <laughs> <laughs> so, because, and I did show all his previous films and said like, sir, I want like this. Remember this? Yeah, yeah. And that was the most careless thing. And I was thinking on the night, should I do this or should I? <laughs> and finally, I had no other option. So I, and, the, and the biggest risk, I mean, the scare I had was, uh, sir comes a very little time in the first of them. I mean, uh, during Once the upon a time, there was a ghost. He's yeah. the ghost. Yeah. So uh, after speaking to some other people, like uh, they said, uh, will it be okay with the people uh, showing sir for the first time only during the intermission and not the rest and uh, that hit me so hard and I was thinking and I was scared a lot and even sir was saying me uh, the shoot will get a go to over like uh, 10 more days of shoot was left and sir said uh, shall I start the uh, dubbing process for the first stuff I was thinking in my mind in the first stuff sir has only one word <laughs> These are all my. How did you break the news to him? Did you one line in the first 
No, no, it's very easy to convince an actor who did football. So, that's, oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's not a problem. But what I like about him. Oh, he just, he was just talking about push push Yeah, because he came no dialogue. The story. We were talking back and forth, many stories of films we liked and all that. Then I said, why do you want to name it Vikram? We were talking about, he says, I'm, I'm a fan of that book. Then the talk veered towards what we rejected as the first story. Because everybody thought, I was telling Raj Murphy Sabal, everybody thought it's a very award-winning kind of story doesn't make sense, kind of. The, that time, the director could have been right. So I didn't want to take the risk, so we put that story aside. I told him, just an outline, shall we work on this? He said, and I said, wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. Not because it's mine. I like the way he went behind something to set aside what he has already prepared. He was open to a new idea. I said, it's an idea, that's all. It's not a screenplay, it's an idea. So develop it. And he went and made it blossom the way it is now. And that was the best part for me because uh, the time I'd taken to write the film is comparatively less to find out what he has not done in his career. So, which role he hasn't done. So, that that was the <laughs> biggest part for and the entire team. We were working on two and a half months saying that, okay, and finally we found an idea and I said, okay, sir hasn't done this role. And someone came and said he has done it in Hindi somewhere. <laughs> so, I went and said and said, sir, I, I, I'm surrounded here. Please tell me if you have something that you have not done in Hindi. <laughs> and sir, this is it. I'm doing a film. I've done it all. Come on, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So, now what has kept you up? Mine's uh, hilarious. I mean, you know, uh, when we were putting this ambitious love story together, the markets and, and the Telugu market said, listen, after RRRs and Pushpas and all, these are all big, very eventful, super superstar-driven sort of films. And these the, the mid-sized films won't work. And then I spoke to my Tamil counterpart and they watched the film and said, this is too Telugu. -ish. Then my Malayalam superstar hero says, Swapna, I think this won't work in Malayalam. I'm like, so where is this film? <laughs> <laughs> and fortunately, it did well in all the languages. So there's absolutely no balance sheet for the film. I mean, after a point, after two schedules, I stopped looking at it also. I mean, even there was, if even if there was, I mean, because it didn't make sense. Your job to make so the story and the make a good film is the exactly. audience that's yeah. going to choose to accept it or not. <laughs> and got them. I don't know if I can say that on camera. But Please do. <laughs> ideally, my sleepless nights would have been uh, about whether shoot will happen the next month. <laughs> whether my you know, hero will show up or not. Yeah, but this time it was like a it was a dream. Uh, oh, it okay. went really well, and good sleepless nights. Like really looking forward to filming the next day. <laughs> of course, some of the action sequences were toned down a bit, and we didn't start on time. But ideally, these would have been sleepless nights. But this will this we just sailed really smoothly. And he did such a good job. Yeah, absolutely. He was yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So speaking of heroes, um, one of the things I really liked in Vikram Kamsa is that there was no attempt to disguise your age, right? He's a grandfather. He just happens to be a world-class assassin along with being a grandfather. You know, you've been a leading man for decades. Where is the Indian film hero right now? Are we mostly mm. back to the larger-than-life sort of persona? Larger than life is what the story says. And as an audience, I always felt that actors should play their age. And I was dying to stop running around the trees. <laughs> I used to say, you want me to dance like that? I used to mimic. He, the song will come and he'll say, then I'll show him my old steps. He'll say, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, but in, in even in his film, it's about the, it's still younger than what I was, but at least it was believable. Yeah. And uh, after some time, uh, Western actors don't discuss that as a problem. Being young is a stage in life. Mm -hmm. So you, you depict that if you're suitable for that. So if you are not, there is always a younger generation to take up that role. Mm -hmm. 
otherwise uh, he doesn't view acting in terms of hero to, or <laughs> villain no it's a, it's just roles, be roles. Yeah. they'll be the same old doctor that your grandfather had <laughs> he'll come in a wheelchair and treat you <laughs> so the, i truly believe that uh, and in my industry shivaji sahab started playing beyond his age even as a young man so when you really of that age you get a feeling you arrived at last i don't have to uh use false white on my beard my beard is white <laughs> and it looks wonderful <laughs> to achieve a white color on a black beard even tell you <laughs> this is my beard started going white no that's okay <laughs> no but to achieve that gray when i was a young person never satisfied it looks very fake true even now actually like yeah it's like true candies, when the when the gray starts coming see? in it it's you're like hoping it's going to look so a certain way in a way it I'm, takes years I'm for it relaxed. to finally i arrived yeah <laughs> kind of feeling this is what i wanted to do play my age and it, it for me my hero a great white beard has to look larger than life if graying his beard makes him look larger than life then i'll gray his beard if 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 you young make a film called dronacharya yeah. you can't have a yeah. black beard and you <laughs> have yeah. to start at yeah. midway point yeah. so so it's it all depends upon uh, uh, how that character needs to needs to look mm. so uh, uh, if 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 tomorrow there is some character where i have to ask him sir to play young and he looks good or yeah, young doing that he has to look young he has to do what the character has to do he has to figure out whether to to dye his hair black or put something lose some weight do some exercise or do whatever it, it all depends upon what what the character uh, how do you suspend be. that disbelief yes. right yeah that's yeah. that's yeah. important uh, and the audience has to believe uh, 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 yeah luckily uh, a lot of actors nowadays like uh, uh, ajit sir has has left his grave uh, yeah. uh, a lot of years back now everyone is like not worrying not worrying about uh being their age in the yes so thankfully yeah. i think one very important facet about creating these larger than life especially in these massy action films when you create a larger than life so to speak hero one thing i think you should not lose sight of is there still has to be a connect with the audience we keep coming back to that word uh in that way i think people like flawed heroes better uh absolutely uh, one of the greatest examples in modern cinema would be the dark knight series from you know Christopher Nolan he took a superhero and made him vulnerable flawed they did it with uh, bond know, too somebody who could feel pain somebody who could get hit and immediately batman became relatable uh, so i do think that people take more readily to heroes who sweat bleed and fall you know uh, and that's actually uh, taking the narrative back to what uh the great salim jawad used to do for batman sir you know you used to see those uh, great 70s and 80s films where batman sir used to play this man who people sitting in the theater used to feel like he came from mm, us you know yeah he's a product Rocky. of all our lives put together and i think that's something even rajmouli sir does brilliantly he does these magnum opus absolutely movies. look at prabhas in bahubali you look at you know uh, tarak and charan in rrr at some point you feel like Hang on, they are larger than life. They are huge heroes, but somewhere the genesis is from amongst us. Yeah, I can relate so to them. Even though they're bigger than life, than you life. can relate but to all, them. All yeah. mythology that yeah. that's actually that's film. There's any formula? Yes. It is to start from the weakness. Yeah. Start from his ghost. What troubles him, and how he surmounts that. All the mythical heroes we have, either Ram, Krishna, they have a weakness, an Achilles, Achilles heel. Achilles yes. And, all of them have their weakness if they don't have any at least they'll put it in their body parts like achilles right so it's a, exactly yeah, yeah. that's why superman has kryptonite a, there should be that because we are not flawless the audience yeah. that's what so they like to uh, identify quickly with the man who was troubled with his weakness and how he uh, overcomes it is a subword yeah or, my weakness is erectile Rises dysfunction above. exactly he either gives into it or he overcomes it then that said uh, there is a sort of currently this kind of wave of a very big scale testosterone heavy film i mean vikram was 
very testosterone heavy. Uh, at the end of it, I wanted to pick up a gun and walk in slow motion towards something. Come to America. <laughs> there's plenty. There's there in the streets, laying on the ground. Do you? But so far, your film Anati also showed that there is an audience for a female-led big budget. Heck movie, yes. Right, but there's such a reluctance to go there. Uh, and of course, it is historical. It is all film industries around the globe are traditionally led by men. But how do we sort of? bring more women center stage. Because invariably, when you have the larger than life hero, women don't get sidelined. You know, though I love Argentina and thank you for her. Yes! I agree with you in the sense that uh, I understand that all these big ticket films are led by male characters now. But I also think we shouldn't lose perspective of the fact that these films are not really about actors. Uh, you know, to, to put, an, put an example, if tomorrow Raj Sir decides to make a film with completely new women headlining the, headlining all the characters in the film, it would still open huge. So are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great idea then. I mean, uh, he made a film with a fly, it did open huge. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> so it is the filmmaker traveling. And when I say the filmmaker traveling, it is a content traveling. The writing is a challenging part. Absolutely. To, you know, to, sort of motivate our imagination to see a Kill Bill is challenging. You know, that is hugely challenging. I'm not denying that fact. It is easier for a writer or for a filmmaker, at least for me, to imagine a big film with a Kamal sir in the lead or Mohan Dal sir in the lead than maybe, you know, a Shoghana Chechi in the lead or, a, you know, or a Tabu in the lead. But, I, um, you know, I am also hugely excited about the prospect of something like that. Uh, I know that, you know, there is uh, a very active discussion going on to do uh, an official remake of Kill Bill in Hindi. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, actually. Yeah. But then again, it's all uh, the larger perspective. Are producers and ministers ready to back a film like that? Like Mahanati, if it wasn't yeah. driven by them, I don't know if it would have sailed easily as a, as a proposal by itself. It, right. Uh, it has to have a good story. I, I know how they work, so it was easy for them to believe in that content and put it out. But I know that you had difficulty in releasing the film in Tamil and all that. Oh, so. yes. Oh, yes. Besides, I think, I mean, you know, uh, like Priti said, I mean, writing the characters, I think backing or understanding and putting these films together is a challenge and kind of taking it to the market is a bigger challenge. Uh, so for me, when you're talking about the hero, I mean, for me, it's very different because, you know, for the little work that I've done, for me, content is the hero. So let it be Mahanati or let it be... Um, Though Dulka is a superstar in Malayalam, in our language, where the mother language of the film is Telugu, he is, uh, is not like a very big star. So, uh, you know, so putting that sort of cinema together and kind of uh, taking it to the market and making it sustain for a week or so for, to let audience kind of taste it is a bigger challenge today. So, I mean, those could be the reasons that we probably don't see so much of content-driven cinema. I mean, you know, when you have... Yeah, making a film about Argentina. <laughs> Everybody wants it. <laughs> could have a whole freaking franchise around okay, let's women let's agents. Let's speak of big action. Okay, the films all of you on this couch have created have massive action sequences and, and uh, you know, the, the stunt people, stunt people, like stunt gun. people. Every second shot of RRR <laughs> is like your jaw drops even lower to the ground. Uh, all the stuff you did, like I said, made me also want to pick up a gun. And I'm a very, very pacifist type of person. Uh, how do you design action? How do you design a story within that story? And how do you decide that we can show this amount of violence before the audience will shut? I will never shut off to violence. When it comes to action, it is not just the portion as action. I mean, like, it is just a set piece, but the the reason for the action, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, why a fight happens and what is the proper, I mean, lead for that is what that action is all about. Oh, Every film has the why. three or four fights. But uh, a particular fight, if it works well, like you said about Argentina, what is the uh, lead for that fight scene? It doesn't matter. And if you get a proper lead for that fight scene, and uh, it will be a good action. And... When it comes to action, I write action. Even before uh, uh, collaborating with the stunt directors, I write action. Like, what does that mean? Uh, it's a dance. <coughs> say, for example, if uh, in Vikram sir comes 
to the home and after raising Tina has died and he'll go look after the kid. And uh, the writing says everything like uh, the, the kid shouldn't uh, wake up and that's the idea. So what are all the other things that he can do not to make any noise? So he has to slit or cut the throat or do some sort of things with all the appliances that you have in the house. So you have to write everything. So that the action gets more special and in that way uh, Writing action is something that excites me. Influence. So you imagine it completely? Yes. That he'll now pick up this then... I think that's the only way. Yeah. Because just asking a group of clever stuntmen to enact it for you will end up like a lot of things put together unless you write the scene. Like in Vishwarupam, that yeah. scene he, he is not composed. It's written. Only when you write... There is a story to it, and uh, the, the, there should be a feeling to it. Otherwise, it is WWF, you know. That, <laughs> right, that it's just a free for all. And they don't really mean it. Right. That's true. And actually, it helps uh, all the other technicians understand the situation. I mean, if you write that, so that, for example, if I'm saying uh, all you need is take a laptop and uh, put it in a throat, if you are not writing it there, uh, you can't get a dummy laptop and in the sex. And it'll go, it's going to take some time for everyone. Uh, in that way, uh, they can also bring you, like, the, their input will be uh, very valid. Like, all the stuntmen, they give you input. No? If you have everything in paper, their input will be, I mean, a bigger support for the film. Yeah, so. How do you think of this? Take a laptop, put it in his throat. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do when you write. <laughs> yeah, asking a writer how they yeah. write. Yeah. Ask your writer. <laughs> they just do it. I don't do this for a living. <laughs> So how do you act? Yeah. <laughs> you see, I was telling you about slipping into mediocrity. If you don't write a stunt scene, you won't be prepared for it. So last minute, even the blood will look fake. Uh, there is a sequence in Vishwarupam where the guy tries to put out a gun where it slashes <coughs> wrist, wrist yeah. and the gun goes with the hand. So you need to make that hand. And the slice will have to be, yeah. of course, later on in the mixing, we had to put 15 sounds for the knife, flesh, bone. Right. All of it together to come together. And are you going to watch it from the front of the hand or the side of the hand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure Project King is all for that. Because everybody reads the script. Lighting's reading the script. Makeup's reading the script. As a matter of fact, Hitchcock explains that the bathtub scene in Psycho never has an actual shot of knife entering right. the body. It's mm. true. It's all intended. And also not like, you know, uh, women or, you know, people like us who make the other sort of films don't like action. Yeah. You know, when I go back to YouTube, I only watch Bahubali action again and again. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about someone flying. For me, it's about, you know, the hero saying, who's dying with me? Who's coming with me? So that's like a moment for me. So that's And there are two varieties. It's like sports. Some like football, yeah. some like... Yeah. Mm. See, they, they like certain kind of action. Some like yeah. WWF. Yeah. Some like mixed martial art with gloves off. That's not, uh, doesn't have a large audience, but now it's becoming larger and larger. Yeah. Plus conviction matters. With action, I think you have to deeply believe yeah. in what you're doing. Absolutely. You know, uh, sir is here, so I would say, you have to deeply believe <laughs> that the animal will jump out. <laughs> <laughs> and all the red, red And I do. Yeah, and I did. Completely. The whole army. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw that scene and I clapped and I hooted. After the film, I'm like, hmm, hang on, what? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Wait a minute, you don't care. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. After that ticket has been torn, yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Conviction, matters. conviction, right? Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, how much violence, uh, uh, where do you draw the line? I think it is completely intuitive. Uh, uh, there is no grammar for it, there is no... Uh, rules and restrictions for that. You you just feel it. You just feel if it. it and if it's think audience projecting the story, it's not just gratuitous. And also, what are you trying to convey to the audience with the violence? Mm. Is it shock? Is it horror? Is it sadness? Right. 
it, it depends. I mean, uh, in our era, when Tarek is being whipped with a sound uh, whip and he's singing a song, I, uh, my intention is not to show horror or anything. I, I want people to feel sadness, and the sadness should turn, in, turn into anger and a, and a proud movement. Uh, so, so how much we show is like, I don't know, I don't, I don't think we can put any uh, like Pokus has to it. Menos for men, for men. Yeah. Oh. When uh, the protagonist goes for the lady nurse's throat, hmm. I was clenching my teeth. I was doing this. I suddenly felt ashamed because I was a technician by then. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, I'm not a common clown. <laughs> the fact that he knows it was Milo's form and that directed it, good grief. And also, moving I mean, images. Matters what you want to do with the violence. If you're making past of the price, where do you stop the violence? Right. You know? You can't. You have to make sure that the people you have to go there. the violence. Yeah. So because the violence is intended to convey something. So the, the line you draw will entirely depend on what the violence needs to convey in the film, I feel. Yeah, like yeah I think it's uh, because Story. of the story of the film. Like I made a email feature uh, serial killer film with Sir. So I decided I will push that, you know, because you, I wanted the audience to be sort of That's actually quite disturbed a violent film, yeah. by what they see. Yes. Uh -huh. the, it's a hunt for two serial killers. And if they don't feel that, it's not going to work. And interestingly, uh, talking about writing, I also write all my action in on paper. So I had this big action sequence planned at the end of the film where after the entire you know film sort of ends, mm -hmm. Sir meets these uh, you know killers and then there's a fight sequence that is planned and the <coughs> officer came onto the sets and we showed him the entire choreography and all that. And he called me aside and said, something's not working because I'm a police officer. And these, these guys are youngsters and they're serial killers. So why have a cinematic fight sequence between them? I'll do it if you want me to, but I feel something is wrong. So I asked him, so what can be done? I asked him, he said, finish it off in one, one blow. And that's what we did. I changed the entire action sequence around. As a matter of fact, the man comes and says, it seems you asked for my eye. Anyone who plucks out my eye and brings it to you, you offered a reward. Are you man enough to hear that? That was the opening sequence. Yeah. That's the opening sequence. You know, that's one of the sequences that I go back to YouTube to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see. But that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> an artist's heart. It's yours. Yeah, I'll do it the way you want it to, but it would make more sense to do it this way. It was planned, a lot of props were brought on, but then Sir said, something is bothering me about this long drawn out at the end of the film, an action sequence where a police officer is single he's taking on two youngsters. Yeah, they're serial killers all right, but I don't see the need for it. It's not it. logical. So I changed it around and it's just, they come at him and it's over in one blow. Yeah. So I, I, I said, I don't know, so I don't want to judge. He said, trust me, it'll work. And in the theater, I could feel one silence there, which is what I needed at that point, right? So. Sometimes you have to change things around also, I guess. I remember Sir saying, after the final narration I did to Sir for Vikram, and he said, but that was the only time uh, he talked to me as a producer, I think. He said, everything is fine. Don't down the violence <laughs> rain. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to him, Sir, the, the, the way I learned violence Sam rain. Sam Sam Did you don't say so you need to do that. You either listen to the producer or find your sensor board will tell you to tone it down. So <laughs> yeah. so That's what a good like, producer does. Yeah. Yeah. And, and with the sensor board thing, uh, I was so happy this time because so I was like, I'm being me. So, <laughs> yeah. the talking, I, just sit and I have a lot of experience <laughs> with sensors because Mr. Balanchandra never ever sit in Because he'll get very tense. You, BP will shoot up, he'll get unwell. Because every frame matters to him, and it invariably dialogues. And it, now looking at it, it's very silly what was removed. But I got used to it. That is, that is my priming time, I think, where I <laughs> learned. In so Tevar Magan, <laughs> Tevar Magan, which is the uh, uh, Virasat's original, there was a wonderful shot. As, technician, uh, uh, as a technician, I was happy. Somebody lops off a head. It's a top angle, and the head rolls into it. It's an accident. We didn't plan it. Rolls quite close to the camera and falls. And we had an extension. I go and cry to the beheaded yeah. uh, Nazar's head That's is the there. Point. Are you happy now? You made me into a criminal like you. And the saliva bubbles out of that mouth. It's trying to say something. And slowly the eye flutters and closes. Then they removed. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> oh. 
they removed it's that? It's almost like the man has not changed his mind. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, it goes well to just yeah. like <laughs> It doesn't matter. I am I. He is he. he. There's a smirk in the face and the bubbles coming out, not words. And it's slowly turning pink from white to pink. And his eye flutters and one eye closes and then the other. I'm already I white and pink. A brilliant shot. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds amazing. You know, uh, all of us, folks from the north, have for too long just clubbed four film industries together as the south. Right? And these are very distinctive film industries. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anyone representing the Kannada film industry here, but you know, they... They, they technically had the biggest blockbuster of the year. Unique. It's very... Uh, the cinematic language is different. The storytelling is different. Uh, Culture is different. Does it bother any of you? Or does it just not matter? For me, it when I was an assistant director, our producers, especially the Tugaru, My father. used to... Okay. Yeah, her father used to abuse and curse us Nepotism. Uh, uh, all the Telugu western directors you bloody buggers see how the Tamil western directors are <laughs> see how they're explaining you see you, you buggers you don't know anything I mean I'm not it's a, he has a I'm sister. paraphrasing it's a carousel we all tried <laughs> <laughs> because and first I started with hating Ramesh Sipi <laughs> I, uh, we saw Shole I was an assistant director ah what the hell you give me that kind of money exactly that's the first reaction <laughs> 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 it hit me so hard. I've never seen horses being ridden like that. Uh, the, the mounting, everything. That's I told him that when we work, worked in, in Sagar. Sagar yeah. The first reaction to your movie was absolute greed envy. <laughs> <laughs> but you were, you were cursed saying... Yeah, all the Western directors, all the Telugu Western directors, we used to huddle together. Suddenly one Western director from, from uh, Tamil Nadu will come in with his in his chapels and he will go, he will go straight to the heroes and he's explaining, we are sitting outside this bugger. <laughs> <laughs> I used to shout at my assistant, <laughs> pointing out at Malayalam. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, sir. But I, I think uh, for a long time, uh, each industry has their own uh, merits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought, uh, at least the uh, directors, uh, uh, Tamil directors were always technically more savvy than all the other four industries. Mm -hmm. uh, Telugu industry, we had, like I said, we had, we are more... Uh, kind of weird that they don't have money rotten them in this. Uh, connect with the probably just wasn't audience, available. Understanding what the uh, audience want. Um, Malayalam cinema, I, I think, has the best writing. Today, today, if I'm envious of anyone, I would say it is the Malayalam Writers and actors. Most original writing. So this, Ten seconds of this interview is going viral in camera. <laughs> <laughs> Rajmuli says Malayalam yeah. is best. The dark period. The writing so original. In Kerala. Yes. Where I used yes. to yes. predominantly yes. keep shouting because I'm a great fan and I'm trained in Malayalam cinema. It was dark. It was very dark. I said, you must be ashamed. What happened to my Malayalam cinema? Where is it gone? Kind of thing. Because they wanted to compete with Telugu. They wanted to compete with Tamil, Tamil cinema. They lost their grain. Now, it is probably, we can blame it on OTT or simply senses coming back. <laughs> I, I think some wonderful work is being done now. Yeah, and, uh, I, I told yeah. this on, on international stage that if, if something we have to look forward, I mean, uh, today, this year, we have to uh, agree to the Kannada cinema uh, no, after a, after a long long time, yeah. which was like the the fourth standard uh, 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 thing, suddenly uh, shot up. See, if, up, uh, an art film and... is very difficult to sit. <laughs> you have to. It is like classical music. You can't nod and <laughs> jive to it. But Malayalam cinema, like I saw Nirmalayam by M.T. That was his first directorial debut. That's my dad's debut film too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I saw it four times. I went back to the theater because it taught me cinema. Mm. Like uh, Mr. Girish Karnad's Kadu, yeah. which is an inspiration for Tevar Oh, wow. Yes, I, I keep telling him that. <laughs> 
So uh, th this is a virtuous cycle. Okay. Yeah. To answering your question, uh, I understand that you know somebody sitting in Uttarakhand you know might not be able to distinguish between a Kannada film or a Malayalam film or a Tamil film or maybe even a Telugu film just by seeing it or listening to the sounds of it. Uh, it's okay. I mean, I, I don't mind uh, that we are not distinguished uh, like that. What would bo bother me is that if these four industries made an effort to amalgamate content-wise, I think our strength is that we create very different kinds of cinema. For sure. Like Sir said, Malayalam cinema but it's, it's, like, its own But it's all India. Cinema. So does Tamil, so does Kannada, and so does Telugu. And that's our strength. But what we should aim to do, I believe, is amalgamate the commerce of it. Uh, which someone like a Rajmoli sir, even Lokesh with Vikram, uh, Vikram is one of the biggest hits in Kerala last year. You know, uh, Prashant with KGF, uh, Malayalam has yet to come up with something. We will, I can assure you, we will. You know, we have to amalgamate the commerce so that we have a bigger playing ground. We have a larger effort yeah. to stage our films in. Do you have one more session like this to do on the Eastern intellect of cinema? Yeah. The, the, Eastern part of, uh, we don't even, I didn't even know there was a man called Ratan Thiyam till I, I, I was taken aback. He's Just so formed, yeah. brilliant, unexplored minds waiting there to come into cinema. The new film from Orissa, I'm a, I, I forget the name of the film. I haven't, I'm yet to see it. Everybody's been talking to me about it. In fact, Prashant Neel told me about the film. Yeah, so I mean, what like film? Sir said, I don't know. He said it's from Odisha. Talk about north and south. <laughs> we have a, a, yeah. unexplored territory. Let me know what he's uh, talking about in the comments, please. Like the Wild West, it's yeah. it's a ready ready east. Yeah. Prabhas keeps telling me this. Prabhas keeps telling me this that um, you know, Prithvi, we sit here and talk about uh, Telugu, Hindi, Malayalam, Tamil. For all you know, the next. 500 crore film might come from Orissa or Assam, you know. He yeah. Yes, thing. they're capable. Yeah. They're capable. And how exciting would that be? Amis should have made that much. That's yeah. what I'm thinking I of. Think that's, I think that's the joy now, you know, that the, everybody's... No, we are now talking as audience. Right. As filmmakers, it's a very nerve-wracking... <laughs> 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 There's money involved as a yeah, filmmaker. Yeah, exactly. No, as a filmmaker, yeah, I want my industry to do well. But just or something, and suddenly Kantara comes and yeah, making yeah, the yeah, numbers yeah, that it's yeah, making, yeah. and like... Uh, suddenly, you don't need a big, big scale, huge scale film to do the big numbers. No, yeah. this, even a, a small film like Kantara can do. It's I'm like, so excited. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that is, that very is nerve wracking. <laughs> as audience, it's exciting. <laughs> as filmmakers, we need to really go back and check again what what we are doing, what what the others are doing. We have to be on our toes. There is no. Uh, uh, rest, uh, resting. Yeah. I have to add to that as someone from Malayalam because the next film I'm hoping to direct, uh, we are trying to mount that uh, at a scale that is not uh, very familiar for us as an industry. So I keep having these meetings with our digital partners, with our satellite partners, and uh, in their attempts to try and make it a pan-Indian, which is a new, you know, in-fashion word, pan-Indian film, they keep asking me questions like, um, so, is uh, Mohanlal going to be wearing a mundu in the film, you know, uh, are the aesthetics going to be neutral? So, the understanding of pan Yeah, like right? Ajay Devgan sir in RRR, can we have a North Indian star do a cameo? <laughs> and then a Kantara comes and then you're like, everyone is wearing a mundu. <laughs> you know, that's very rooted. It really is not the style or the, or the name. Authenticity. That, that travel. It is the content. I mean, yeah. Uh, like I, I said this to them, I had the meeting this couple of days back, I said this to them that, uh, you know, before Bahubali, uh, at least in Kerala, not a lot of people knew Prabhas. So now don't make the mistake of thinking that it was the stars that made, you know, yeah. cinema, in the, the film pan India. It's always the content. Yeah. Uh, and Kantara is such a glorious example. I mean, I distributed the film in Kerala, it's a big hit in Kerala also. And actually I have to admit, when I saw the film before it released in Kerala, I didn't think it would take off like this. Yeah. But Not really, just, the, the yeah. final. Have you seen Kantara? Of course. The final shot where the Stunning. deity comes and hugs the whole yeah. environment. That's a cue for you to feel the same way about the film. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You want to do this? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a it's a brilliant film. So maybe you should do a sort of masterclass on on how you don't have to, you know, cast a star, how you don't, you just create a damn good story. Heck yeah! The, the market never listens to you. 
No, not even to you. And don't even not try. even to you. No, no, don't even try. You, you always try to talk to the audience. Don't try to talk, uh, talk to the market. Oh, nice. Life. Life. Oh, thank, thank you so much. much. Stamp <laughs> that on everything. <laughs> that it should be the mantra. Right? Yes. Every yes. filmmaker. I mean, that, Stamp that on everything. Don't talk to the market. Talk to the audience. Oh. Yeah. In other words, pursue the passion, not the bottom line. Yeah. It'll fall in place. Yeah. Ah. Project. There are only two ways. He just but came. You know what intrigued me? <laughs> You mentioned it a little bit that Malayalam cinema has. And they wonder why South is doing so well. Yeah. You know, work sort of across in the way that Telugu cinema has. Or no, cinema. but I think we have, we have a, a, a memory lapse. Because Chemin by yeah. Ramu Karyat crossed all barriers. My dear Kutichatan. My dear Kutichatan yeah. yeah. did that. Yeah. It crossed all barriers. I think more recently, and Chemin, is what you mean. At least my, my dear Kutichatan was dubbed. It Chemin was. went as a Malayalam film. I went and saw it in Chennai, didn't know a word of Malayalam, but I saw it twice as a kid. But I suppose what you mean is that we have not been able to come up with a Bahubali or a KGF or even a Kantara. I understand and I'd be pretending if I told you that this is why we are not able to do it. I can't put my finger on it. You know, I, we can... No, once again, that Uttarayan Dakshrayan, they've done it. He's forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> He's forgotten. Time, I, think. I, I hope so, sir. I, I believe so, actually. Okay, tell me one film, that one Indian film that you saw in 2022, that you loved and said, damn, I should have made that. Gautam, you've been silent too long. Let's start with you. I think I'll see, pick Tiruchitram uh, Balam. It's throwback to... Loved one, it. One Loved very it. Yeah. nice space. I wish I'd done that seriously. Couple of things could have been done better, but then not to pick on anything. But I really like the way the film unfolded. I didn't, and, uh, I didn't see what. Danush and the. Oh, okay. Danush, yeah. Shantia and Danush. It was like a throwback to the old world kind of films that you haven't seen in a long while, and it really worked in the theaters. I saw the response in the theaters, and I really thought, uh, you know, it was a small film, but it really And all of us, want, whenever there's a good idea, we always think of a parallel plot. <laughs> yes. How, uh, it inspires a new it, idea. I do it. Right. Yeah. I loved Kantara, but my Kantara would be different. <laughs> right. But I didn't do it is my only chagrin. <laughs> so, but it's been done love? by somebody. Yeah. I think uh, 2005 has been pretty occupied. Didn't uh, think much of what else I could do because I think it was a lot on me. I mean, we have one film at a time or one film once in two years. There were four projects in pipeline for 2022. <laughs> so there was nothing that I could think of. I should have done it. But yeah, definitely for the numbers and for the impact, Kantara would be on everybody's wish list, I guess. Like, you know, wow, like how could they do it? Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. Lokesh? Um, I wish I could have done this film in Malayalam. <coughs> yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. Tallumala. I watched it like back to back two, three times. And I loved the edit pattern of the film. And I thought it's my kind of film I would have. Love directing it. And earlier I felt with Ayyapuram Koshima. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't say the the whole uh, film. Uh, just I was uh, uh, telling Prudhvi that uh, when I saw the scene of uh, uh, the police officer giving a cigarette to the uh, kids in Jana. Uh, Jana uh, Ganmana. Uh, uh, and the whole setup of the scene, how it was shot, how it was made. The performances, the way it was written, I, I felt very jealous. I, I thought, <laughs> why didn't this thought uh, come to me? Uh, I'm calling the job. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, one, uh, one shot uh, in um, in Vikram, uh, the last shot when when Kamal sir is walking towards the camera, he puts. That's why, and then starts chewing the gum. <laughs> this, this has to be mine. This has to be mine. How does that feel? Yeah, yeah. Really so nice. Yeah. 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 No, no. He, sometimes I never had the gum in the mouth, <laughs> so he has to remind me that I have to chew the gum. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I'll forget sometimes because. Mm -hmm. Keeping the gum in the mouth for a long time. It's not say it again. In the earlier, I mean, uh, previous Vikram in 1986, uh, Sir used to chew gum from the entire film. And that was the idea to, uh, what I'm now, it, it's asking back to that film That's right. where I keep nice. eating chewing yeah. gum. Real gum. So, Lokesh, he's jealous of a shot you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that is something. So <laughs> I feel super proud now. <laughs> Thank you for the Thank you for saying. <laughs> well, having said all, all of us, 
after we made Apu Raja's original version, Singhitam and I came and looked at each other. He, uh, he said, what are you thinking? Now we are ready to make this film. Mm. <laughs> we know all about this film. <laughs> we, can, we should go back and make this film. <laughs> That's what we all feel, I think. Another chance. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I guess we all do part twos and part threes. And I'm part coming four. to the part twos because there are many part twos happening in this bunch. But first, tell me what is the film you saw? I mean, this year on top of the films that I've acted in, I've produced three films and distributed four films. When so do you sleep? <laughs> so I, it's, I, I'll be lying if I told you I'm sitting in front of a computer and doing all this. I'm lucky to have a company that runs by itself, but I've uh, been privileged enough to uh, have the opportunity to associate with some great work uh, this year. But yeah, one film that I saw and I thought, man, this would have been so good if it was a Prithviraj Productions Malayalam film, is Kanta Raj. Mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, you know, it's, it's so close to our culture in Kerala too. Totally um, across the border. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, we have so much of it, especially in the north of Kerala. Um, people, the Tayyam and all that. Uh, Tayyam and all that. So, I, um, and I told Rishabh this. I told Rishabh, oh. I told uh, Hombale, the producers, that, you know, that this is one film I feel jealous of. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, were you jealous of anything you've seen? Oh, almost, almost. <laughs> <laughs> everything, I've ever, everything I said, everything I saw in 2022. Who was your director, man? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to watch it. I would love to assist him. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That's so funny, including Vikram. You, you, I remember when we met in Cannes, you said to me, "You see, everything is competition, but like a trampoline, when the next person jumps, he pushes you higher." Yes. Oh, how nice. Yeah. <laughs> because I asked him about working with, you know, two other, in fact, with the third cameo of Surya's as well. I said, how do you balance that? And you're the producer. It's so easy for him to say to Lokesh. Right. Can you just up my, can I have two more lines in the first mm -hmm. half? You could say anything. You know? But he no, said, those, those days are fortunately over. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Lokesh, you were saying something? Look, um, sir would say it in reverse, like, don't do a bit for me. Uh, really? Yeah. And, uh, he is very clever, you know. <laughs> so if you are working, if you are working with other actors, they are obviously talking about him. <laughs> so he gets Talking of masters, Mr. K B is a very vociferous uh, director. I mean, he'll give galleys if it is deserved. So he directs everything, including flower vases. Anything, curtain moving, everything has to be for an ordinary scene. So we'll, there'll be six people, and actors are lying like moths. <laughs> They'd rather die in light than. <laughs> so I will do this or uh, do this. He'll, he'll curse me from there. Your chance will come. <laughs> you cannot steal the scene. <laughs> this is not your scene. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's fantastic. And, uh, and so I learned from there. So and during sets, like uh, uh, this, is what happens? Like Fahad will be playing. <clears throat> Fahad will be there for at least ten days continuously. And once he's gone, and uh, when Shailuna comes. They will make sure that what the other person has done, when it's not in the presence, and that happens with almost with all the actors in the film. But I'll try to show it to sir that uh, sir, these are the other people have done. He never watched it. You say no, I'm not watching it, and uh, that becomes a practice. And I was saying, okay, uh, how to make him watch the scene, but he never watches. And after a point, I said, uh, sir, today I need to cancel the shoot. Uh, let's do it tomorrow. He said he asked me why. I showed Tina's stunt portion. He said, uh, sir, this, is, this has come out very powerful and I'm changing all the choreography now, so we need to go practice him. Yeah, I feel so, so. <laughs> let's do it tomorrow. Sure. Finally, I showed him with Tina's right there. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, I come from a time before monitors. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very comfortable. I trust the technicians. So you had to watch the dailies. As a matter of fact, even your focus. I wonder if they had dailies in, know, in India. In I, bet he, I bet he's been around since yeah. before the dailies. He's gone. Mm -hmm. So, I come from those days, so it, it's a lot of trust. <laughs> so, on that note, let's go to the sequels. Because apart from Sita Ramam, where 
poor Dulkar's character <laughs> died. I feel that like everybody <laughs> here has got sequels happening, right? I'm doing the film. You're there as a filmster, yes. That's right, you're about to slip in. Sorry to say that in front of uh, the actor here. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to know, I know it's early days and none of you are going to part with some state secrets, but I want to know, Lokesh, where is the next uh, installment in this universe that you're creating with Vikram? Uh, where is it at? Ain't when it do Tina, we see some part the bad of Rolex? Are... Again. Right now I'm doing a film. I mean, uh, I'm working on a film and uh, after that it will be, I have to sit and talk with Sir first. <laughs> no, no, we yeah. have made that promise. Yeah. So it's for it's us good. to keep it up. To you have made a promise. In the film. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I will hold you to it. We yeah. need to see Rolex back. And so all I, I'm keeping one promise. Indian 2 is on the floor yeah. now. Yeah. Hindustani. You have many promises to keep. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be Vikram 2 and uh, ID2, probably Rolex as well. So it's the universe, right? So you have all the you know, list to do all kind of films, like whichever character you want to make, a sequel or prequel or whatever you want. Ah. So, what fun. For the next 10 years. Ah. So, so. <laughs> Which character do you want to do a prequel on? Come on, baby! You have let out that there is an RRR sequel happening? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, like initially with the RRR success, we, we dabbled with the idea of. Uh, part two, we had some good ideas, but never a great one. So we left it at that. Then recently, about a few weeks back, uh, one good idea stuck, one great idea uh, uh, stuck, and we thought... No, ah, we that's good this. to hear. At present, we are just in the writing stage. So I have to uh, write it, then then only I can talk about it. Wow. But that's cool. Great idea has that's been. wonderful that he's got the great idea. Well, oh, it's his dad that's the writer. Uh, you are really? A yeah. That's wonderful. Trying to. So there was so much of material that we had. Yeah. And this film itself was like two hours, 50 minutes. Uh, so we decided we will stop at some point and it's a journey that could continue. We thought the film does reasonably well, then we will do it. It's done. It's done well. So we thought the writing is in place. Uh, we have to get into it now. I think to let you know, Simbu wants to do a film in between and then come back to this. So I'm just waiting. For that. And Janagan Man will also have. Yes, hopefully. We do have ideas of doing a sequel to uh, Janaka Namana, which will also be sort of a prequel. Uh, you explore this character before what you saw in Janaka Namana, but the immediate prequel that I'm, I mean, sequel that I'm going to be involved with is the second part to my debut Listen, directorial. Of which course. I, I hope to start sometime in mid of next year. Uh, it was always, in fact, when we, when my writer, Mr. Murli Gopi, and me first thought of the material for Lucifer, we thought it would, it's best said as a 12 episode series. Mm -hmm. uh, but those days, series in India, that in Malayalam was unheard of. So we just took one part of it and made uh, the first part. And we said, we'll keep quiet. And if this does well, then we'll talk about the next part. Uh, fortunately, it did well. Uh, so that's the one I'm uh, going to be shooting in terms of sequels next. Uh, so yeah, let's see. How fun. I think it's very exciting. Uh, I'm going to end with a question that I'd love all of you to answer. Uh, you're all in positions of immense power within the film industry. Uh, what is the one change you want to use that power to bring about in the next few years? Hmm. Swapna, can we start? Great question. In terms of business or in terms anything, of... Anything. Anything in the entertainment ecosystem. I mean, nothing like it if we can kind of, if we can convince our stars to kind of do more content driven films, for sure one. And second, I think the affordability of watching cinema in, on bigger screen, if we can bring that forward and if we can, you know, get audience to watch films like how they used to watch back then in 80s and 90s. Wow, life would be great. <laughs> That's I, what you want I to agree. Say. Amen. Yes. So I have to say, with so many of the films you all have made, I did see that. You know, packed halls. It was and such a uh, that collective experience oh, yeah. is just oh, yeah. so irreplaceable and and so exciting. So yes, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, to that, uh, sir, what would you like to see? And uh, what would I like to see? Uh, what do you want me to change? Uh, no, I, I don't think I have the power to do that. But I want what I want to see is like. Like how we have uh, stars, each each of 
uh, each industry has uh, stars and star directors. In each industry, there are like four or five star writers, like how Salim yeah. Javed Sam used to be. If the star writers, like everyone are waiting for the writers to give them yeah. the script to make it. True, that doesn't have, happen anymore. If no. you have that kind of Unless thing, the I writer is the director. That right. would be great. I think India would be one of the greatest film industries in the world mm. if that happens. Well, your dad's a star writer, but you monopolize him. <laughs> he, he was saying to me how you rejected Bajangi Bhaijan because he came to you at the wrong time. Yeah. And then a little later, he, you said to him, you should just wait it 15 days. I would have made this. <laughs> so you get the best of him. Yeah, I didn't get the best of him. We need, we need many yeah, more. Many more writers, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd also like to just come back and just a thought, uh, how interesting it would be if if, if filmmakers collaborate, if Gautam sir writes for, you know, yeah, that'd be like fantastic. I was going to say that, yeah. actually. I hope people like this collaborate. <laughs> yeah. Actually, sir, and come also collaborate. Like, you know, for yeah. me, I, I love films. I mean, I've never felt jealous about a film. I mean, with all due respect to everybody who said that, you know, I, I learn from every film. And, and I know we keep saying this, not because sir is here, but like, like Lokesh said, my stunt sequence and all were derived after watching a lot of Sir's films, actually, films like Satya and Guna, where the action is so real and understated. I love watching what Rajmouli Sir does also, you know, in the theatres. But I, my first thought is, oh my God, I'll never be able to do something like this. Mm. You know, but what Sir has done, I want to sort of emulate, emulate that. So for me, it's about collaborations. I want people like this to come together. I want the three to be in Sir's film and, you know, where industries kind of merge. Yeah. The way those, I, I don't want to sound philosophical, but those lines will sort of vanish then, I think. That's the way this amalgamation and all that... And it will be Indian cinema. If right. Malayalam is in a big Telugu film. Now it's happening. That's yeah. right. And yeah. I'm really happy about that. Yeah. Are there any film institute alumni here? No, sir. No, sir. So we are yeah, all... Yeah, are, sir. Sir. <laughs> there is a film institute. No, no. <laughs> you are, the you are a film institute. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is we are all hunters and gatherers. Yeah. We don't know where our next meal is coming from, where the next technique is coming from. That's I think my dream is to create a place of learning for filmmakers of all faculties in cinema. Hmm. That's not been done. And I want to do it here. I always thought uh, uh, Hyderabad has taken away the, uh, the, the pride of Chennai being a national filmmaking oh. center. Bombay is a Hindi filmmaking center, but Chennai was a national film. Nagarete Garu made Hindi, Telugu, Tamil films, uh, uh, AVM made films in all languages, and Ramanand Garu has made films in almost yeah. all, the, all the Indian languages. And uh, uh, Germany, Vasan Saab, took Chandra throughout the country. So, uh, there is a place among the stars for Chennai, and I want that to happen. Mm. It's not about me personally doing something, collectively, as they were all saying, so that we come and talk and uh, learn instead of teaching. That's so lovely. Prithviraj. I want to do for the Malayalam industry what Raj Bhali said for the Telugu industry. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I just want to be able to create something that gives all of us the guts and the belief to dream big and to, you know, really put conviction behind our vision. The more I hear stories from Prabhas about how Bahubali 1 in especially was made, I mean, I am so in awe of this man. I can Im only imagine the pressure. It was completely uncharted. Yeah, territory. uncharted territory. That, that kind of scale, that kind of effort. I'm not saying that I want to create a Bahubali in Malayalam. You know, I would love to be involved in some capacity. I'm an actor, I'm a director, I'm a producer, I'm a distributor. In some capacity, I would love to be involved with, with the movement in Malayalam industry that, you know, makes us break through. Right. Uh, we have great content, great filmmakers, great actors, great technicians. Yes. But I'd love to be part of that one big step yeah. which we are yet to make. Absolutely. How fantastic. Yeah. I actually don't want to use any power and uh, I'm actually doing what I want happily. So uh, unfortunately <laughs> with all the actors I'm associated with, they let me do what I actually want to do. But um, with all these people saying that an institute kind of thing would be great, something great, I think, because 
uh, if at all we have, uh, uh, I used to had a conversation with uh, Fahad Fazil when he was making the film Malik. Um, he don't know how to film it. Like he, they faced so much struggle in shooting in a sea. So at that time, he directly called sir and asked help. Like how did you shoot when a nagging was happening and all? And sir helped him doing that. And when we people have access to like all these mm, people, so that we yeah, can ask any help of, others, uh, any kind of learning stuff. If there is an institute kind of thing, and that would be great. And for any debut kind of filmmakers or uh, like these people coming and giving the master class, well, that would be something mm-hmm. great. And I wish, uh, looking forward to. That would be beautiful. Well, until that institute happens, there's film companion. <laughs> <laughs> Way to bring it back. Way to bring it back. We will try and take it across the board. I know I said last question, but one last question, sir, to you. You said in an interview that you don't have to be a sage to predict the future. If you are dedicated to the past and to the present, and aware of the present, and aware of the present, you, you can, can almost be. guess the future. Mm. So, what are you seeing for Indian cinema in 2023? Mm. We will become world cinema, mm-hmm. which we have already. He's there. Yes, mm-hmm. we. When I say not just two people, right. generally they will say that India produces films like we said that of uh, uh, Sweden ones, France when uh, Godard, uh, Chabrol, and uh, uh, Eric Romer and all came in the, the new wave. We said that of England, we said that of America. Now it will be our time. Mm. For which all of us will have to humble ourselves. If we have to walk that far, then we have to walk together. How lovely. Well said. That is such a lovely note to end on. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Uh, and let's continue to walk together. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful round table. <laughs> you know, I find so interesting. Oh, the entire thing was fantastic. Glorious. Uh, you could listen for hours and hours Glorious. to uh, brilliant filmmakers from all directors, producers, writers, actors, obviously, and they were all wonderful to listen to. Um, but the fact that in their respective areas, every single one of them would be a sir, right? Correct. <laughs> every single and a one. ma'am. Yeah, and a ma'am. Yeah. But <laughs> there's a hierarchy that happens with if you have Kamal Hassan and, and somebody like uh, S.S. Rajamouli, like... I feel like if, like, let's say, <laughs> I'd see if, if it was like Shah Rukh Khan and, and like Salman Khan and uh, um, uh, Amir Khan, and then Amitak Bakshan was in the room. He, sir. He, was, he would be the sir in the yeah. room, even though the rest of them would a thousand percent be sirs, of course. <laughs> if not more so uh, in other ways. But I love the, like, these are all very well established people. Of course. Like she said, they all are very powerful people. <laughs> but like there's just this thing that happens in a room when you have somebody like a Kamal Hassan who's He's an industry like said, he's, he's an institute. Yes. Um I, I love the respect that they all gave to those p- individuals. But I love that they're all they're all artists. And so they all know that content is king. Correct. And it's not the box office. Obviously, they all want the box office. They're the people that should be concerned with the box office because right. they're the filmmakers, right? right? That's what we always say. Audience really shouldn't be concerned with the 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 uh, box office. And it's draw. not the measure of a good film. No. They're the ones that should be concerned. Right. Um, but they're all like it's it's the story. It's it's and it, your and your artistic integrity. T- integrity that's yeah. the, that's the key there. Yes. And everything that Kamal said is no surprise. <laughs> the fact that his biggest fear is mediocrity. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> No and if it, at all. and it, and if you want to know why South Indian cinema is being so well received, mm-hmm. look at that room. Yeah, you and know, it is it's it, artists. It is. I'm, I'm assuming it was scheduling, but the fact that Mani Ratnam, yeah, who would be another sir in that room, obviously. I, I bet there were probably a couple of others that just their schedule didn't Shouldn't, permit it, couldn't allow. Yeah, it. and in fact, getting them together was probably a small miracle, yeah, scheduling wise. Um, um, so yeah. He would have been another sir in that room, obviously. <laughs> it's it's so encouraging, and it's not a surprise. And this isn't to pat ourselves on the back. It's just something you notice when you love the art form. The two things. One, Malayalam has yeah. magnificent storytelling and creativity, and you heard how everybody's envious of that in a, in a healthy way. And then the second thing is that I agree with his final statement there. What we've been you know, pining about now. for four years now, when we first were introduced to Indian cinema, we were like... 
the world needs to know because it's not just it's that good. It's not just and it's big time Bollywood has come. Numbers. It's time has come. Yeah. Um, it says Roger Miller's big part of that, obviously. Huge. <laughs> and it's just after after award season, the the world and Hollywood especially is gonna be looking at India going, What do you got next? Yep. What do you got? Yeah. The so, uh the fact that RR is about to get nominated for multiple Oscars probably. Uh it's gonna really open it all up um for 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 everyone to be and the RR is a lot of people's like obviously people thought Slumdog was an Indian film back in the day. I know. But that was probably the closest most people in the had, West had, had ever come. gotten to Indian cinema. Exactly. Even though it's not an Indian cinema. Right. Uh it's the closest they got. Loaded with Indian artists. Artists, yeah. But, yeah. Um but that's the closest they ever got. And I guess back in the day it might have been Lagan, maybe? Maybe I don't know, but I don't there's but, been uh, nothing. sadly, you know what it was? It was Gandhi. It was probably Gandhi, which once again which not, is an Indian film. not an Indian film. Uh, so the fact that RR is like the fir- everybody's a lot of people's first ever Indian film, yeah. which ho- they're now learning it's not a Bollywood film, right? It's hopefully it'll become Indian cinema as a whole, yeah, uh, which would be great. And yep. it was fantastic. There's uh, they're dropping more. There's more that drop too. There's like uh, I think one that's more Hindi film, which is like Karen Johar on your Akashi up. More film companions. Yeah. Wonderful. Brahma. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's film. She's companion. a wonderful, wonderful But uh, fantastic, fantastic round table. As good as it gets. Um, it was a pleasure to listen to. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, and uh, let us know what are the videos. What do you thought about this video down below? Just. <laughs>